Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to my World of Warcraft series. And I totally forgot to do something last episode, guys. I got this brand new helmet from a dungeon like two episodes ago and I forgot to put it on when I hit 88. So it's right here. And compared to the one I was wearing, it is quite a bit better. Like 200 more agility, like 300 more stamina. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I think it looks exactly the same. Does it? Hold on a second here. It's exactly the same looking. I hate when they do that. And I still can barely see. This looks really heavy, actually. I guess it would protect me good, though. Um, but we have three quests. One is to kill 12 cryptic attackers. One is to heal eight injured um, people and get, like, 20 limbs. Is this one of the injured dudes right here? Got a band-aid for you, bro. Do I just do this? No? Okay, apparently this is not for this dude. It's for the Gaoran back guards. He is just some defender. All right, I see how it is. So we will mount up, and I even changed my mount too to a cooler one. I don't think I've used this one through the whole series. It is my Black War Mammoth. Looks pretty cool. Probably like the most badass one I actually have for ground mount. So let's see. Everything is pretty much in this direction. So we'll go out of town over here. And these are the things I need to kill. All right. So yeah, they're going to be pretty easy to kill probably. Like all the dudes are like helping me over here too. All right. So we'll kill these. I don't know where I get the limbs from, but everything seems to be in like the same area. Alright, so I'm going to kill as many of these as possible. And I actually noticed no one's on right now. Usually when I play, there's a lot of people on, like on Real ID. Nobody at all. I thought that was weird. I guess it's because people are at school now, like this time of year. Oh, I got a limb. Awesome. But yeah, no one's on. That hasn't happened in like, I'd say like six months. So I thought it was pretty strange. I was confused when I logged on. But yeah, it might be a good time to play. I mean, not too many people around trying to kill my monsters and stuff. All right, so we need to kill 12 of these giant bug things. I don't know. Everything around here looks like a big bug. And their like, limbs fly off as they die. I only get one from that. Does that mean I have to kill 20? Hopefully, you know, a few limbs fall off one of these. You're already injured, huh? Did not realize. Okay, a couple limbs like went flying. I might have missed one when we killed the first one. Not sure. But I'm sure we will get enough when we kill 12. And there's actually some limbs just sitting around too. All right, the other quest is to heal the guards. Is it these dudes? Oh yeah, these are the black. Oh, the black guards are the dudes fighting. All right, but they need to be injured. I would assume. Are any of you dudes injured? Are you guys? You're all. You're all good. All right, this dude. He's fine. Is that an injury? <laughs> Just something on him. All right, so maybe they get hurt every once in a while, like like this dude over here. I see. I've got this now. Don't attack me right now, please. I'm trying to save a life. Oh yeah, I totally forgot I could do that. It is so nice to be a hunter because, damn it. Because they can do everything for you. Your pet, and then you're like, you know, finish the quest. All right, now let me heal this dude. I just saved his life. All right, there we go. And I'm assuming a lot of limbs are gonna go like flying all over the place right now. Can't believe we're up to 88. We're really not far from 90. It's unbelievable. Only took a year. That's really how long it takes. But it's okay. It was worth it. Alright, so lots of experience. I think I can heal this guy before any of these giant bugs come. It's a terrible place. Alright, so this will be number two. We need eight of these. And we've already killed four and we have five limbs. But there's limbs like laying around anyway. I don't know if anyone else is around, but I see like a dead dude over here. Dead bug. Maybe they like, killed each other at the we same time. The that actually might be what it is. They're, the, you know, the guards are killing them and then lit. Hey, why did you blow up? Did you do that to me? That was weird. It's all right. Night Fury, kill it. Kill that giant. It's got wings too. Ouch. Don't throw me like that. All right, so yeah, there's plenty of limbs around that I can grab. And then we'll save this dude. We actually got like half the limbs already. It's kind of a cool zone. I like the colors. It's like, it doesn't look this nice in real life. It's like blue, shiny grass. <laughs> Apparently, something over here does not like me. But yeah, there's a bunch of limbs now. All right, this will be 11 limbs. Not good. Wait until he leaves. Let me grab this. Thank you. What the hell is... Is that like a... It looks kind of like a giant helmet. It almost looks like my helmet. Doesn't it? 
Hold on a second here. Top part. It's a giant version of my helmet. Sort of looks that way. <laughs> looks weird. That'd be the biggest helmet ever. Be afraid to see what's wearing that. Really afraid. Alright, so that thing's dead. Limbs flying all over the place. All mobs' limbs should fly, you know, when you hit them. That'd be cool. Alright, so a lot of experience from that. And don't stare at me. We're friends. I don't want to fight you. One second, let me grab all your friends' limbs. Thank you. See, he didn't even care. He was like, as long as they're not my limbs, he could take them. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna probably finish the limbs right now, because it looks like there are limbs everywhere. See, this dude, he's afraid of me. He's not gonna attack. Oh. Are you, like, pointing at him? Is that why his hands were up? Maybe that's what was going on. You're powerful. You have a lot of hit points. Many more than me. Over a million. Jesus. Why don't you guys do the work? How come I have to do it? I, I always wonder that. When they have these, like, strong dudes around, like, how's me killing some gonna help at all? I always wonder. But it's okay. Probably wouldn't be anything to do then, huh? <laughs> Look, he's freaking out. He's like, please don't shoot me. And then he runs. Alright, so we've got 19. Need one more limb. Let me save this dude right here. That'll get us five. I really only killed six. I think it's because some of them are coming by, like, injured. And you need to do at least half the health damage yourself. Or are they all not part of the quest? Just making sure here. I think they are. Because some of them look different. Like, these dudes are bigger than the other ones, but I don't think it matters. Alright, seven down. And our last limb. You know, I, I love collecting limbs. You gotta, like, put them in your backpack. Think about that. Would you want a limb of one of these things in your backpack? I wouldn't. But it's alright. They're, like, really big limbs, too. Because I'm only up to, like, his, his waist or something. Very tall. Alright, so that is number eight, and here comes number nine. And why not grab you for number Jan here? Grab everything while we can. Might as well. So there's been a couple suggestions for me to do like um Siege of Orgrimmar. Um, but um guys, I can't do it until I am 90. I don't have any level 90 characters because I kinda waited for the last play. I thought it'd be fun, you know. To just do it, you know, on camera, all this stuff I've never done before. So everything like this is like a first look for me. I never did this quest before. They want to hit 90, I'll do all the different content that is available. But right now, I believe I can't exactly do that. It's like a, you know, level 90 thing. I can't even do, I can't do any, there's a lot of things I can't do here. Raid finder scenarios, it's, it's kind of sad. Alright, I gotta focus. I'm getting killed. Kill you, Knife Fury. Alright, come on, kill something. Alright, 10 down. So we need two more, and I also need to heal three more of these dudes. See if we can find some injured ones around. They all seem fine. They're fine. Let me kill this one. Take it down quick. See, they might have helped me. See, they do too much damage. I gotta stay away from them. I need to do the work myself. They're not helping me learn. Alright, here's one dude. It's the same dude I saved before. I don't know what happened to you. You're back down again. Ow. Saving you. Alright, so this should be number everything. Number everything. Oh, God, there's so many right here. Yeah, just run by. Thank you. Fair enough. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna do a dungeon real soon. I know we unlocked two more, I think, right? Did we? Dungeon. Go to the section here, specific. So yeah, we unlocked two more. We'll get to them pretty soon. I wanted, like, have, like, an even mix of questing and dungeons, because I know there aren't that many dungeons, and you have to quest a lot more to get your levels up. So, um, yeah, I'll do one soon, though. I've only been in this place for, like, one episode so far, so I figured I'd do another. Kill some more of these evil, scary bug things. Look at the last one. Number 12. There we go. Alright, so now I need to save a couple more and get on my awesome map. I missed this one. I haven't read this in so long. What is it? All right, so I need to heal you. You'll be number seven. And then eight was like right in front of us, I believe. All right, you're saved. You Save your friend. The the they really should have like band-aids themselves. And we're done. We finished all three quests and they hand in over here. And I think one of them gave a trinket. I'm not sure. I kind of picked him up quick, but I saw something in the corner of my eye before. 
But we will see. See if we get any gear. I'm trying to, like, improve all my gear so my damage will be pretty good when we do the dungeons. Alright, so dude right here. Speak. And back on their feet. Alright, I did that. 215,000. At the limbs. And, yeah, this is a trinket. So, 617 haste. I have this old one that's item level 289. This is 429. That's just, like, embarrassing. So, yeah, that's better than the agility. Plus, like, um, this one, your attacks have a chance to inflict your target with Manted Poison. Dealing 3,500 every 1.5 seconds for 6 seconds. The other one was your melee and ranged attack strikes have a chance to grant 1,000 haste for 20 seconds. This is a little bit better. It's got to be. It'll bring up my item level. And I'm just happy. All right, so it's right there. Let me open this up. And we will swap it with this one right here. All right, we're actually, like, equipped with... 411, not bad. All right, so there's one more quest to hand in. All right, bro. Are these an improvement as well? They are awesome. They're like 80 more agility, 100 more stamina. Uh, about the same critical, but like 100 more mastery. Osal Peak Gauntlets. What do you want me to do now for legs? My legs are a little bit better. Recover six volatile dread orbs from the Amber Marsh. Fair enough. All right, so it's kind of far away. Why oh, you got to do this to me, bro? And it's the only quest that we have now. I don't know if this is like leading us somewhere or what, but we will go. We gotta go past all these giant bugs. We need 16 volatile dread orbs. I don't know if it's gonna be something like sitting on the ground or what, really. But it's kind of scary looking. I thought it looked nice. That look in the air, and it's freaking scary. I'm going in the wrong direction. So it's kind of in this way. I'm getting attacked brutally right now. My giant freaking mount is getting me there anyway. So we're almost there. It's got to be like right around this corner. I hope. I see another quest here. So it makes sense now that they only gave me one. Yeah, there's a couple. They're leading us here. Into the marsh. Yeah, you better run. He's not talking to me, right? So <laughs> they just ran away. Kill 10 agitated... Nettle skins, and I'll get volatile orbs. That's how I get them from quests. I see. Interesting. And um, Ko cookies. Recover. Initiate Cheo's sword. All right, cool. Let's do it. So these dudes, they need to die. Oh, they dropped the orbs too. Interesting. Maybe those were different orbs. Got confused now. Volatile orb. Yeah, these are volatile dread orbs, not volatile orbs. Got to throw that extra word in there to confuse me. Don't worry, they always try to do that to me, and, and they always get me too. They look really scared. I'm starting to feel bad about these ones. The bugs were clearly evil. These dudes look frightened. Like, like really frightened. They... Are we sure that's not the dude from Lord of the Rings? Now I'm thinking, the dude, when I was leaving, he said something about a fellowship, and now these dudes look just like the freaking dude from Lord of the Rings, the scary looking freaky dude. I don't like that dude from the movie. He scares the hell out of me. And this looks just like him. And we're kind of in that, like, area you'd see him, you know? And they're all over the place. Oh, man. Except they're kind of, like, green. Well, maybe it was green. I don't know. They look a little different. Different haircut. What is he? Oh, he's holding one of the orbs? What is that? It looks like it. I see him holding something. Are you holding the orb? Give me that. Don't throw it at me. That's the volatile. Give me that. He threw it. What am I supposed to do about that? Now I can't get it. Yeah, these aren't going to be easy to get, are they? If they're going to freaking throw them at me, I got to ruin them like that. I got to surprise them. All right, but we do need to kill 10 anyway. And I have one orb so far. All right, there we go. Got a second one. So, yeah, it doesn't have to do with it being in their hand. I thought it might. I know we did a quest a while ago with oranges, and they had them in their hands, and it really was them dropping them. I thought this might be the same. All right, so we're heading down. Oh, I saw, like, a boss mark, so we got to be close to whoever had that sword. Let's go this way. Who has his sword? It's kind of a creepy forest. Oh, there's a turtle. Should I catch a turtle? Everyone's been asking me to get a new pet, and I'm feeling... I'm feeling like we should go for it. Why not? I don't have a turtle that looks like that. Honestly, I don't have that many pets in general. He isn't super cool looking. I kind of like his, like, texture of him, you know? 
Probably just because we're in like Pandaria and everything looks a little bit different. But yeah, I'm gonna do pet. I'll do it. He's the only turtle I see around. Alright, so, um, let's see here. Dismiss. Dismissing pet. Come here, turtle. I like to give you guys a chance to, like, name the pets because, you know, then you're, like, part of the series, too. Um, and plus, I'm not good at coming up with names. At all. Really bad. It's not even funny. Alright, I almost got you, bro. I don't have a pet right now. It's making it a little more difficult. And turtles make good tanks anyway, so it should be good for leveling. So, so come here. We're friends. Alright, so, um, damn you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can put him in a trap. I always forget to do it, like, 90,000% of the time. I forget to put him in the ice trap and then catch him. Instead, I just take all this abuse while I while I tame my pets. But, yeah, guys, come up with a name for my turtle pet. You can ca you call it whatever you want. I'm going to pick the one that I like the best. Pretty cool looking. Try to get a good look at him for you guys. Stop moving so much, please. Please stop moving. Try to get a better angle here. He moves whenever I move. But, yeah, he's pretty cool looking. And he's ready to fight. He's bigger than I am. Alright, awesome. So we got a new pet. Um, and did you see that speed right there? I think turtles are slow. Not my turtle. He kicks ass. Alright, so that dude is dead right there. And where is the quest we got? We need to find the sword. Who has this sword? It's not you. You have a giant ball. Alright, um, please drop the volatile dread orb. I really appreciate that. Alright, he's dead. Okay, so we need to find this. I need to find it now. What is this? Oh, so there's orbs that can actually be sitting on the ground, too. Let me check the map here, guys. So it's saying the sword is more in this direction. Turtle? Are you fighting right now? Come follow. Follow, help! Kill this one, actually. There he goes. See, he's got that cool move where he can, like, teleport over. I love that. Oh god, here comes your friend. Your family's back. Kill it. There's a lot of... I don't. I must have accidentally aggroed it or something. I don't know what happened there. But now I'm fighting his family. I he's bigger now because I made him bigger with the bestial wrath move. Alright, that dude is dead. And come on. Die, bro. Stop surviving this. And got him. Awesome. All right, so we got another orb there, too. And apparently, like, down here, there's a lot more orbs. Like, they're kind of just sitting around. Got that one. Got that one. Still looking for the sword. It's got to be around here. I hate these things. Hate them. Hate them so much. Who died here? Oh, someone killed the rare spawn, and it's still here. It must have been recent. Oh, I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I wanted that. I'm sad. The rare spawns are so rare, I've only killed one. It's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. I'm sure we'll kill another someday. Very, very sad. Fool's cap. Grab this herb. Damn, I can't believe I found another, but it was already dead. I hate when that happens. Don't you throw the orbs. They're very important. Very valuable. So apparently, we're almost at the sword. I'm trying to get there as quick as I can. I'm assuming some kind of boss has it, like the leader of these of these people. How would you attract this many pat? How could you possibly throw down the trap? I just don't know how I attract this many of them. Let me grab another orb. I guess at least we'll finish all the orbs at the same time. Good way to think about it. Alright, good job, turtle. You don't have a name yet, but you'll get one. Very soon. Let me grab this real quick. It's gotta be in this direction. The map told me so. I listened to the map. Hey! Don't ever do that again. See, so yeah, he's a good tank. He also has what looks to be like Thunderclap, which is kind of like a warrior move, where he slams everything on the ground, um, grabbing aggro, like, to a whole group, which is nice, so I don't take damage. Plus, defensively, he's much better than the pet we had before, but he just doesn't do as much damage. Which is alright. It's fine. I can do the damage. You see how he actually has both on him? And that's probably how he grabbed the turtle last time when he slammed the ground. Alright. I swear, I saw something on, the, like, the map before. It showed, like, a skull, which usually means there's a boss there. But, of course, it's gone. 
All right. And there we go. It was like a weird looking skull doll. Maybe it was like the rare spawn dude. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but um, it was something. And there it is. Okay, so he's right over here. I thought it looked a little bit different than what I saw on the map before. I'm not sure, but um, it was only there for like a split second. Don't at don't attract. Actually, yes, attract. You're the one that has the sword. This is the leader. It's Needle Bottom. It interesting name you have there, bro. So, hey, please, get back the sword. He's throwing the sword. It landed over there. It exploded. It'd suck if you couldn't get it back. Stop it, meanies. Maybe I take your sword, too. Backing up. Don't want to get hit by that. As you can see, my turtle takes, like, no damage. It's a beast. Beast right there. All right, please give me the sword. Don't steal mine. I don't even have a sword. Why would you say that? I have a bow. Sort of. It's like a crossbow, right? He has a crossbow. And he's dead. I got a lot of experience, and I got the sword. Awesome. So let me see here. We need to, um, obviously turn around here. I need to go back up. I need a couple more orbs, and we can hand everything in. Is this the way? Try to see. I'm not very good at this. Is this the direction? I think so. Yes, it is. All right, so we need a couple more orbs. We need three more. Should be able to get those, no problem. Gonna try to avoid these dudes if I can, because they're kind of just on the ground anyway. Like, there's one right there. I'll just attract them, whatever. I see two. This is gonna finish off the orbs for me. Because I guarantee you one of them drops one. Guaranteeing it. All right, you grab him. Actually, I already found it. And we finished the quests. But I can't leave my turtle here. Look at him, taking no damage like a beast right now. Like a beat resisting stuff. It's just it's just awesome. Alright, so that's dead. At least we get a lot of experience when we kill him. That's what I'm always thinking. Alright, so this is the last one. Oh guys, I get this question all the time because I know I have a lot of viewers from Minecraft, and then some of them start watching the WoW videos. Um they ask me like if the game costs money and how it works. Basically, you can play for free up to level 20. Like you can download it and play, but at level 20 you can't you know, continue on, because you gain levels in the game, and, um, I'm at 88, level cap's 90, you can buy the game, the game's fairly cheap itself, but you also have to pay $15 a month to play, unless you want to, like, you can subscribe for a longer period of time, I've never done it before, I pay by the month, and you get a slightly cheaper price if you sign up for, like, you know, a few months at a time, but, um, I never did that, but yeah, it's fairly cheap, especially sometimes of the year, like, when holidays are coming up. You can usually get all the expansions, because the game has a bunch of them, like, for a really cheap price. I got, like, Pandaria, the newest expansion, for, I think, $15, which was very cheap. It's probably, like, 30 now or something. But you get a, if you look around, you get a good price if you, like, buy it at the right time. But you do have to pay $15 a month, but it's well worth it. There is so much content in this game that, um, yeah. You might as well just try it out for free if you want to, though. These dudes followed me up here. Three of them? Come on, this is mean. I can't even hand in the quest because the NPCs are fighting. We need to kill these so I can get my awesome stuff. All right, there we go. Alright, so I have gotten um, these. Got some orbs from you now. And I got the sword. And I get cookies for it. And if I sit, I'll get 275 and a useful stat for one hour. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. And looks like hands back in in town. But I set my hearth there before we started today, guys. Genius. I know. I know. See our hearth there, and we'll be back. I'm so impatient. <laughs> but yeah, the hearth. I think we're on what 15 minute cooldown because of the guild. Yeah, so not too bad. And also, um, the guild is about to gain again to 22. We're almost at level cap. Pretty excited about that. It's been a long run. It has. Alright, so I've got your dread orbs, and I got these pants, but at least I can sell them for 16 gold. Use a dragon launcher to kill 50 swarming mantid. How come you have a thing on your head now? Dragon launcher. How does this work? So, I'm just making sure it's not around here. It sounds like it's going to be something over here. I want to use the dragon launcher. I see something shining. This is going to be a fun one. I have that feeling. Oh. So we get to control these things right here. 
like where the barricades are. And I get to kill all the bugs. Alright, so we're on this machine right here. And the move, Dragon Cannon. Launches a rocket at the targeted location, dealing 450,000 fire damage and knocking enemies back from the point of impact. I love quests like this. So apparently, I only have one move, but I can totally destroy these dudes. See that, like, fire coming down? It takes a while, actually, to come down. Like, right here at the barricade, looks like there's a ton. Drop it on top of them. Here it comes. Fireball, and bam. I think I could fire a lot of them, though, so let's do that. Let's, let's fire like a million. Are they going to keep coming down from the sky if I do that? Yeah, they are. All right, so this is how you destroy, guys. I am wrecking havoc. Honestly, I love quests like this because they're so much different. And I get to, like, control a machine to kill the monsters. I don't have to run out there and kill 50 myself. See, I don't know why they didn't have me do this before. They had me go out there and kill them, which clearly took me a long time. What if I accidentally hit my friends? The pandas. That'd be bad. But yeah, we've killed 37. And you can see, like, the little fireballs, like, coming down from the sky, destroying everything. We're at 44. Almost got him here. And last one. It's gotta be it. Come on. There we go. And we have finished. Oh, we're getting like a little scene going here. Whoa. Is that a giant worm? That that is scary. Oh god. Looks like we have our work cut out for us. Uh oh. Are you here to fight? Alright. I need to defeat Novrakris, the terror of the dread wastes. And I get a brand new ring that's a lot better, so let's do it. Stay light on your feet. Ready when you are. I got it, giant worm. Oh god, it looks scary. There's three million hit points. At least I have the turtle now, right? Tank pet for the win. You go for it, bro. I'm gonna wait here. I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, so I'm just gonna try to, like, DPS this thing, like, as much as I can. Doing resonating pulse. Take cover behind the barricades. I totally didn't do that. Alright, so I definitely have to avoid wherever those things are, but this looks to be like a fairly easy fight. Usually the quest bosses are, so not too worried here. My turtle, full health. I am throwing the heals on, of course, though, so that, you know, he doesn't die. Already half dead. Uh-oh. Hello? I see this right here. Should I not be out here? Got that feeling. He's coming out. I'm ready. There he is. Oh my god, he's such a big hitbox. Let me just let me just back up a little bit. But yeah, get behind the barrack. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just avoid that. Like that. There we go. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by it. It'd be funny if it hit me and killed me. Alright, so we almost got him here. And we get a nice ring. Like a nice improvement. And he's dead. I get 210,000 experience. It's like a quest in itself. Alright, so where do you hand in? All the way up there. I see how it is. I see how it is. I did a good job, right? She's proud of me. She's running back up too. Damn, she's faster than I am. How do you how do you run so fast? Gotta get on my mount. All right, cool though. That wasn't too bad, and we're getting a nice ring in return, so I can't really complain. All right, where do we hand in here? So is this the other one? No, I handed in the other one to her already. So here's the ring, Seal of Taranzu, and it is much better than both my rings, but we'll replace the item level 399 one. All right, and ride to the next area, pretty much. All right, so my ring, this one, is replaced. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.